SDS2 Connect can design a variety of connections for wide flange, angle, tube, channel, and WT vertical braces. X bracing, knee bracing, and shared gussets can all be designed. When designing vertical brace connections, SDS2 Connect will use the uniform force method. For more information on that, please refer to the AISC 13th edition beginning on page 13-3. There are several setup options that will affect the outcome of brace connection design. First, under design criteria, are options for calculating automatic loads. This will be a percent of the allowable tension and compression load. There is also an option to turn off vertical brace gross capacity checks and a percent of allowable stress increase for bracing if using the ASD 9th edition for the connection design method. Other options here that may affect brace connection design are always use flange claw angles for wide flange vertical brace to guess it. If this is not turned on, SDS2 Connect may design a channel web connection. Seismic vertical brace gusset design will design a connection with the brace set back a distance parallel with the work line of the brace to the nearest corner of the gusset. This distance is determined by the option multiplication factor for the distance between free end of the brace and line of restraint found in plate design criteria. SDS2 Connect calculates the distance the brace is to be set back from the corner of the gusset by multiplying the gusset thickness by this number. So if two were entered here and a half inch gusset plate were designed, the distance would be one inch. Also in plate design criteria, there are options for when to design shared gusset plates. If the work line of the brace is not within this distance, SDS2 Connect will attempt to design two separate gusset plates. Design for a beam column gusset if flange end distance is less than is a similar option but determines how close to columns a beam column gusset should be designed for. If plate thickness is selected for design by first incrementing gusset, SDS2 Connect generally designs thicker but smaller gusset plates. If plate size is selected, generally larger but thinner plates are designed. Finally, in standard fabricator connections gusset plate, the minimum and maximum gusset thickness to be used is set. The option round gusset plate length width to greatest causes SDS2 Connect to round gusset plate length and width up to the nearest increment set here. Minimum edge distance will control how close the center of the nearest holes can be to the edge of the plate. The clip end operation applies to angle and WT braces. It will perform an extra clip operation on the gusset plate to create an edge perpendicular to the vertical brace. SDS2 Connect will use the uniform force method to design brace connections as mentioned earlier. When using this design method, brace forces can be transferred to the beam column connection or to the gusset column connection. In setup, design criteria, there are two options for this. The first to mention is add gusset beam interface forces to beam. If this is turned on, the brace forces are transferred to the beam column connection. Since this is turned on and connections are already designed, let's look at the design calculations for a beam in this situation. We can see a warning note at the bottom that indicates the forces have been included by SDS2 Connect and it lists the forces. Keep in mind that the added shear forces can sometimes cause the beam connection to fail. If that option were turned off, these forces would need to be added by the user through the connection edit window 
and the note here would indicate that SDS2 Connect did not automatically include the forces. The second option to look at in design criteria is redistribute the gusset beam interface force VB to the gusset column. If this is turned on, the shear forces are taken into account in the gusset column connection and the gusset actually acts as a haunch in this case. This option is also available through the connection edit window. If changed to yes, this will override setup, the connection is redesigned, and if we look at the design calculations for the beam connection, we will see that there is only compression force added. No shear because it has been transferred to the gusset column connection. Taking a look at options available for all braces in the connection edit window, we see the seismic brace gusset connection option. A setting of automatic looks at the setup option mentioned earlier to determine how to design the connection. Yes or no allows users to override that. The loads are calculated based on the percent of allowable tension and compression that is entered in setup under design criteria. Use modified MB will calculate MB as HB times EB, otherwise MB is calculated in the usual manner. Connection specifications include options for setting the gusset plate grade. Use oversized gusset holes will use oversized round holes in the brace to gusset interface and use slip critical bolts since they are required by AISC in such situations. Gusset to supporting member determines how the gusset plate is attached to the supporting member. If this is set to clip angle and gusset to beam clips is not set to match column clip, the options below for angle size, hole type, bolt type, etc. become available. There are several options that are specific to two braces. End fitting when welded is selected, users can specify the notch length clearance and how many erection bolts are to be used. We can also choose a end fitting of bolted which gives us an end plate on the tube to be bolted to the gusset. Also we have a paddle plate option. And the paddle plate would then be bolted to the gusset. When editing connections for angle braces, there are options to stagger the bolts in the angle to gusset. So we see the bolt pattern is staggered. We also have an option for one gauge line of bolts rather than the two gauge lines that we currently have.
We also have a stitch plate gap or gap between the double angle brace. If this is left on auto, the gap is the thickness of our gusset plate. When editing connections for wide flange braces, the connection under connection specifications allows users to choose a standard connection or we can do a paddle plate when the web is vertical. If the web of the brace is horizontal, this will give us a couple different options for the connection arrangement. In that case, users can choose flange gussets or web claw angles. SDS2 Connect also designs connections at brace intersections, two column base plates, shared gusset plates to beams as well as columns, and single gusset plates to beams and columns. Thank you for watching the SDS2 Connect Vertical Brace Tutorial.